long ago, and oh so far away. I was a room service attendant at a suburban Detroit hotel that hosted all kinds of luminaries like rock stars and authors on book tours and that sort of thing. And um, uh, it was part of the demystification process, and I'm very grateful that I went through. So along with learning music itself and production and engineering, I got to, at a very young age, I mean, I was like 17 or 18, uh, I got to meet all these you know, famous people in their bathrobes and underwear, unmade up, no pretense, just raw and burnt out from, you know, the, the show the night before. And um, I met the Moody Blues, Berlin, The Cars, uh, King Crimson, uh, Neil Sadaka, Liberace, Michael Jackson. I mean, I... <laughs> Rod Stewart, I met all these different people, you know, dozens of them. And um, pretty early on, it kind of destroyed the illusion of these people being some elevated thing. And I started to think of myself as like, you know, I'm a plumber, basically, and, you know, a novice plumber in the company of highly decorated and awarded plumbers. I mean, it's just a skill set. Granted, the arts are a skill set where you're taking parts of your psyche and, you know, putting them out on display, you know, your psychic vitals in front of people. But still, it is a learned uh, set of skills. So that was what made the demystification for me uh, complete, was going through that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so, I mean, you know, as for me, I mean, not that anyone's looking to put me on a pedestal, but if you did, I would smash the thing because... Uh, Nobody really deserves to be on it, frankly.